I have you done. Folks, Saturday night. Welcome aboard. Sorry for the delay. It's all Kyle Jr.'s fault. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the Calamity Campaign. Uh, this is episode 14 for these guys, and uh, they are coming home to roost. Uh, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and get everything else out of the way. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archives. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, join our Discord if you want to buy our crap. Like phone case, shirt, uh, bedspread, shower curtain, whatever. Uh, check out our shop. We got a lot of cool stuff down there. Uh, if you want to play on a one shot or on next Saturday or uh, on the talk show on Tuesdays, M Hobo Inc. Twitter or Gmail, hit us up. We will try and get you on. Don't forget about our fantastic sponsors at Pirate Dog Dice. For dice that could not you save know, me nice. Thursday, uh, kind of let me down, but oh well. Uh, so if you're looking <laughs> for custom dice at Pirate Dog Dice Twitter. Also, if your game stinks, as y'all know, our game smells like success. That's due in part to Adventure Sense from OddFishGames.com. They have a plethora of aromas that will tune Parts up your in-person games. Uh, their Kickstarter for How to RPG with Your Cat has gone live, so check it out. And if you're going to go to Gen Con and have a few hours, uh, they still uh, could use some help at the booth. They'll pay you or give you some swag, so check that out. Folks, this is the Calamity Campaign. Uh, we'll do the recap here in a moment. First, let's introduce you to the people who are going to make it happen. Rob is first. Your spiel, my friend. Uh, hi, I'm Rob. <clears throat> you can find me on those social media things at Cthulhu, Rob. And you can find me here on Murder Hobo Inc. on every other Saturday as Dave <clears throat> or Brother Cup and occasionally on One Shots. Nicely done. Scott, up next. Hi. How y'all doing? I'm Scott. I play Rakir, who is a monk. Uh, it's like a way of the long death monk who has a small fascination with how things die. And I like that. Strange uh, definition of small. Small. Yeah. Cool <laughs> shit. Uh, David, you're up next. Real David, not Dave the Barbarian. Yeah, I'm the other Dave. <laughs> Hi, I'm, David. I'm David. And uh, yeah, you can catch me like every most Tuesdays here on Between the Rolls. Uh, I play in Bay tonight in the Calamity One cat, uh, campaign. Uh, I'm also Zadar in the Cacophony campaign, which may be wrapping up. So if you want to follow us on the thing, get caught up. Uh, check us out in the archives. Uh, yeah, so you can follow me in the Twitterverse at DNDevious, and uh, yeah, that's me. Well, ready for tonight. There you go. Last but certainly not least, Jesse. Who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, hi, I'm Jesse. Uh, you can find me on the social medias at JR Wooey. Um, I play Azari the Leon and Ranger, or uh, Coda the uh, Australian uh, dwarf. <laughs> that's it yeah, that's it. as long winded as Nicholas is on Sunday no game tomorrow by the way folks we're taking a break uh, this is the Calamity Campaign these guys have successfully rescued most of their lost loved ones <laughs> who were kidnapped and uh, led astray by a bunch of slavers uh, these guys have also found out uh as, as players that uh, they ain't in Kansas. This is a post-apocalyptic game. Uh, we started out as Stone slash Bronze Age. Uh, it has now sufficiently dawned on these guys that, no, there's some shit going on here. Uh, they have returned to their home of Ba in the mountainside. Azari's sister is still unconscious slash in a coma slash something's wrong with her after being an undead ghost receptacle. Uh, the other three, uh, so, some had people that lived, some had people that took 11 freaking minutes to die. <laughs> uh, <sucker>. <laughs> the <laughs> dice give us and the dice take it away. Uh, I my jersey but only Frank, Frank can rub it in. <laughs> uh, two, two weeks ago, these guys returned home uh, to find out that their uh, beloved homeland is, uh, shall we say, fortified. Uh, now, a stockade fence 
prevents them from just walking into their homeland. Uh, they met two guards who should recognize them, but are going through the motions with the Hark who goes there. Azari has discovered that uh, Sirius is a sister and Shirley is a mother to Joe, the gate guard, who stands above them, uh, asking them again, uh, who are you and why do you want entry to uh, the fortified city? And yes, I am well aware you're going to beat the shit out of this NPC as soon as you get inside. <laughs> <laughs> Rick here, do you want to tell the man who we are? Do you know who we are? Do you no, know I, who we are? Yeah, I know who, know who we are. I know who no. you are. I don't know who everybody else is. Because remember, you have a string of people. Some of them no. are boss citizens. Some of them are elves. Like Petra. these are all, they're all honorary citizens of Ba. Ha ha ha, how's that happen? Well, you have you have obviously people from Ba, right? And then everyone that we went out, we found a few more people and we lost some people. These are their replacements. Yeah. Yeah, they basically crossed a river and sought asylum. So yeah, that's that's where we are. <laughs> so. so they're immigrants. <laughs> you got to put a label on it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you hear some profanity on the other side of the wall. Uh, everybody, give me a perception check to see if you recognize the voice. Oh no. <laughs> That's a dirty 25. That's a, that's, a, that's a five. So I'm really engaged with this conversation saying, no, they're not immigrants. They are refugees. Refugees. And you should know the difference. <laughs> 18. 18. Uh, 18 from Missouri. Perception. Okay. Uh, yeah. 12. Ingve, uh, you are right next to Rakir as he goes into a long dissertation about the difference between refugee status uh, and immigrant status. Dave and Azari, you clearly recognize the pissed off voice of Doff on the other side. Uh, <laughs> Joe turns around and he goes, "Well, you know, it, it's it's uh, the, your friends, and but they got." Uh, they got uh Stop! open refugees. gate. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You may pass. And you guys hear some scraping on the other side. Uh, the doors swing open. Joe and his other associate are each on a door. Ooh, hanging on for dear life. As you <laughs> open it, uh, there is a well-armed contingent of uh, fellow citizens led by Doff, who has acquired some armor. Uh, he looks rather uh, stately in it. He comes forward, surveys the situation. You four may approach. You, 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 you can come in. You, uh, this group stays out. Uh, the citizens that you rescued uh, pile in. They have Althea uh, dragging her in, still in the catatonic state. Uh, ba citizens are allowed in. The <laughs> refugee slash immigrant slash safe zone individuals uh, have been told to stay outside. The doors are still open, uh, but the contingent behind Doff has moved up and have spears uh, at the ready. Who wants to talk to Doff, uh, your old and dear friend, and uh, see what the hell's going on? Doff, Let's make what a comment that Doff looks great. Too bad his brother's not here to see him. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, and uh, uh, I, will, I uh, will roll. That's fired. <laughs> Uh, he must not have heard you right because he blows off the comment. Uh, 
No, he heard it. <laughs> Not with a three and an eight. No. <laughs> uh, but he seems to blow it off and he goes, whoa, 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 whoa. One at a time, please, when you address the captain of the watch. <laughs> wow. He, he kind of bristles at your reaction uh, and the guardsmen... <clears throat> Are prepared to defend his honor against the uh, foreign invaders that you have. Ingve, how many of them are there? Ten, Ten. plus plus Dolph, uh, and these are your countrymen. <clears throat> what uh, what happened to Loki? Uh, the honorable Loki and Gizba. Gizba, and and with that the. Ten guards kind of kind of look puzzled. Uh, why don't you four step over here for a moment? And he, he kind of motions you just inside the door. All right. Let the elves in as well. They did help not save yet. the lives of our people. No, that's not up to me. Uh, Gizba fell in combat. Lokai has been named leader. In what combat? Well, after I came back, in the time that we were gone, we, the town was attacked again. Uh, but this time our people put up a fight uh, and Gizba was severely injured. Uh, he lingered on not like 11 hours or anything. <laughs> Or eleven minutes, but it was eleven he, minutes. He, he lingered on a, a, a long enough to uh, pronounce Lokai as leader of Ba, and it's that. Uh, honestly, uh, I can't let them in. It's up to Lokai. How's that bite working out for you, Dolph? Oh, it's okay. I was worried. I appreciate that. Close the gates. Uh, the guards move in, close the gates, and you can hear Peck Peck. Hey, hey, this is a horse shit. What the hell's going on? I, uh, I go to safe. stop the guards. I go to stop the guards. We, these people helped save our lives and our people's lives. They Dolph, can, they should. Dolph, Dolph intervenes and says, no, no, no. You, you have to make the case with Lokai. She is in so charge. Surely they need an emissary to help someone to represent them. We should let Peck back in here. You know Peck. Peck. He would be a good spokesman. Uh, as well as does he as know well, Peck, Peck? He doesn't no, know Peck. He does Peck. Not oh, know okay. Peck. Sorry. Sorry. I, as well I as, as Peck, Peck. Peck. My bad. My bad. As well as letting them in, these people are under our protection. They, they will stay with them. Uh, then Peck Peck immediately comes in. <laughs> okay. uh, Maybe if you would have brought the giant gopher in, Doff would have been. Yeah, there you go. There you uh, go. So uh, Dave and Peck Peck switch places. Dave. Hi, Dave. <laughs> the door is shut. Uh, Doff looks over you three and he goes, you look well. Congratulations. Uh and, and thank you for bringing back our townspeople. That was very good of you. Uh, like I said, if you want to make the case to Lokai, I can take you to her. Where'd you get the armor, Doth? I, uh, in my defense, uh, our group got attacked coming back uh, by the cowardly uh, retreat surrender monkeys from Itali. Uh, and uh, I killed a few of them, so I took their armor. You can tell he has two daggers. So he, he made out like a bandit. Uh, he does point out that it was not without consequences. Uh, two of the elders uh, had heart attacks and died. Convenient. Wow. Wow. Uh, so uh, I imagine take us to, <clears throat> to Lokai. Sure. Uh, they go through town. Uh, the, the citizens that you rescued are all reuniting with their citizens. Uh, Doff gets halfway across. Uh, the citizens that you saved, oh, thank you. Uh, Azari, you see your father and mother 
and other sister tending uh, to your comatose sister. Uh, your father gives you a stern look, gives you the nod of appreciation for a job well done and continues to tend to the sister. Uh, you may stop if you want. Uh, Doth is not going to stop. He's going to I'll keep down. going. I okay. need to be with these people first and then I can I'll feel more comfortable afterwards. So ahead of you on that second level is Gizba's abode. Uh, it's dark. So uh, you move over, go up to the third level, which most of you probably would know that's where Lokai's original residence was. But he stops you outside and he goes, uh, I'm going to need a favor from one of you first. What is it? During the assault, uh, Geb's cows got taken. <laughs> so you got to tell Dave. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, sorry you had a shitty day at work, Rob. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Geb's cows have been stolen. Uh, okay, it, anyway. It, it, <laughs> Doesn't it, change it, how the writing goes, does it? Mm. Okay. So it, uh, His house was taken? Cows. 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 It is uncle's cows. Geb's cows were taken. Remember Dave kept going on about how who's going to take care of Geb's cows? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 The, the, so, 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 so the cows got taken. Uh, so you guys get up to Lokai's <laughs> place. Uh Doff knocks on it. Uh, you hear a, a rather snarky response. Uh, Doff enters and says, good news, Lokai. Uh, the rest of our people have been saved. Uh, our associates here have come through. Uh, Lokai looks a little bit different. She's taken on an air of, uh, I don't know, uh, general in charge uh, kind of thing. She always had a big charisma uh, but this time, uh, she's got paperwork. Uh, there are maps everywhere. Uh, some of the maps, as you look around, uh, show potential fortifications of Ba. Uh, she is obviously deep in thought. Uh, she has her quill, and she looks at you three and goes, oh, well, at least you guys did something right, aside from abandoning us and letting us get attacked. So how many people did you save? I, I think we, I think it was 11. We brought back 11, but we brought back even more to help replenish those that have fallen. And we killed a lot of Gru back. More? Where'd you get yeah. more? Our, our, pe our people are finite. We have a finite number. I, how did you get more? There and now more people. You, you see, Dolph. <laughs> the Gru back had other prisoners. Are they our people? They helped us. They, now. Uh, they helped us rescue our people. Oh, did they bring food? We, in um, case you missed it, we're kind of under siege here. Uh, a lot of our crops have been stolen and Geb's cows are missing. So, you know. In case you missed it, I'm a druid. So, <laughs> so I don't think food is, you know, A lot of the, too the people we brought with us are are elven in nature. They're well versed in planting they're, crops, helping with expert people. expert hunters. Yes, they'd be an invaluable resource here. And unfortunately... That, that being an uh, expert hunter. Oh, and on, sorry. on the unfortunate side of our town being attacked, we were in the midst of saving our people. It is unfortunate that we weren't gone during that time as we did not abandon you as our task was to get our people back. Uh, Peck Peck will step forward. Look, lady. Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. Five on how he was going to handle it. He proceeds I feel the same to, way, Peck Peck. He proceeds to lambast her. Uh, everybody, you three give me perception. Wow. Okay. Ooh. All right. 
19 for Ingbe. <laughs> That's a dirty three. <laughs> 24 for Azari. Uh, Rakir won't even look at Doff because of their hate hate relationship. But now, Ingbe. I, 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 I'm imagining myself and I'm sitting here thinking, I wonder, are, are you and Doff, y'all still. They were. You, uh, you know, yeah. Peck Peck's oh, comments get Doff bristle, uh, noticeably bristle. Uh, Lokai sits there and just sheet of stone makes nothing. He lambasts her for good. I should have David roll this. <laughs> <laughs> you should. <laughs> uh, three minutes about how Impressive. he has assisted uh, your people, helped aid getting your people back, faced many creatures, undead, strangers, uh, I got thrown out of a boat. I hit a rock with my face. You know, he goes on, gives a very succinct uh, summary of everything. I don't say that's the issue. She picks up her quill. Well, I suppose there's room outside the main gate that you can set up a camp in. Well, I mean, if they're productive and they help our society, isn't there a path to citizenship that they can take? There's a test, but you know it won't be available for nine months. Well, they probably do better than our citizens. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, she says, "You know what? I don't know if you know this, but Gizba is dead, and on his deathbed, he made me the sole administrator of Ba. So my word is how it's going to be. But you, pointing at Peck Peck, seem to be quite." seem to be quite persistent if your ability to help is half as big as your mouth maybe maybe we can go ahead and let you in but i don't know you from eeyore so why should i trust you and then she looks at you three why should i trust this guy because we trust him with our lives as we have this entire <laughs> journey Are we you saved him he saved us We've helped his people. He's helped our people. He's earned the right alone just by his actions and the people's actions to at the very least be brought in under our safety, even for a shortened time if they choose to be citizens here, which, oddly enough, the changes have been, seem a bit militaristic. But as needed, based on the current situations, but if they choose to be citizens, we should at least give them the opportunity. If they choose to move on, they deserve our safety for at least one month's time. And there are also witnesses to what we discovered outside our known boundaries. Because the Cut. world is not what you think it was. By Cut choosing to not to trust them. Yeah. Cut to Dave. Uh, who goes there? Who goes there? Who goes there? Hey, Dave, which one do you think is more impressive? Who goes there? Who goes there? Who goes there? What do you think? And it's dipshit Joe. Of, of one of the and, and his buddy's like, I, 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 like, I like the second one. Who goes there? You're muted, Dave. <laughs> Dave, think two to one. Goes there. I like that. I like that. <laughs> Sounds pulls, good. Pulls out a lot of jerky. Hey, hey Joe. There? Yes. Yes, Dave. You got any beer up there? Give me a dexterity check. <laughs> uh, 17. You catch it. Thanks. Um, Thank you. No, no, no. Thank I, you. I, no, I no, pull, no. <laughs> I pull out one of my three Grubeck daggers. 
and pitch it up to Joe. Go catch. <laughs> Roll off. Let's see if you stab Joe. <laughs> oh shit. Yep. <laughs> wow. That <laughs> one. Nice do, catch. Do, do your damage. He tried to get it with an eight, so he went and it hit him. <laughs> Not supposed to catch it with your face, Joe. Who? Who? Who goes? <laughs> I guess it's a good thing I'm not raging because it's only uh, five points of damage. Good old one-eyed Joe. He only one has one-eyed Joe. It is <laughs> back with low Kai. Uh, give me a perception check, you three. Let's see if you hear a you don't catch good from the gate. Ooh. Now that time is a uh, twenty-two. Uh, ten for Ingve. <laughs> Nine for Azari. He's... Three for, three for Peck Peck. 17 for Doff. Doff and Rakir. The hell was that? Uh, you hear footsteps. Come running up. Guard bursts in. <laughs> Goes, Joe got hit with a dagger. And Lokai jumps up, hands on the table. Who threw the dagger at Joe? I, it came from down in front of the gate. And oh, she shit. stares at Peck Peck and goes, is this how you people show your kindness? Out of the way. And she pushes Azari steps in front. Azari steps up and goes, watch with the you people message. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, you people? She pushes you out of the way, goes storming down. Joe is clearly just guzzling blood down there oh jeez! and she starts barking <laughs> orders everybody's you know kind of oh shit i kaiser i i'm on it you know so it's like i go up to joe well now you're walking down the stairs you're gonna have to walk behind her yeah i am you and know. she's just yeah. pissed hand on her hilt she's ready to kick somebody's ass doff is gonna bring up the rear because yeah. 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 I yell yeah. to the other guard. Get Joe. Bring Joe. <laughs> uh, well, I'm like Joe. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as, as as they pull Joe down, the gates open. Lokai whips out a blade that you have not seen before. Uh, it's very steelish looking uh it is definitely not bronze or stone who is responsible for injuring one of my guards Azari I'm okay. Azari's gonna run past like in front of all of them okay this is you're being ridiculous one of my guards uh, has a dagger in his eye, and I'm being ridiculous. He Azari, tried to catch it with his face. Azari, I was there when you cut your teeth in the fields. I don't want to hear that kind of bullshit. Tell and me. I'd like to hear common sense from you, as you didn't even ask Joe what happened. You ran past and immediately set blame. That's not a good leadership move so much as it is a foolish... I I, I asked who. Move. I asked who, and I still ask who. And I see Dave raising his hand... Somehow with ale? Uh, how the hell did you get ale? Joe threw me ale. I tossed Joe Dagger. He tried to catch with face. Loka, you know that tracks, right? <laughs> you people Maybe are you so should... fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Here's what I will do. I'm not going to do that. These creatures, elves, sure, can. Uh, she doesn't know what an elf is. She's never met one. <laughs> well, yeah, she, she has that. no idea. You're learning new things every day. Hmm. These people can go ahead and camp outside the gate. Doff, you will bring four of your men up, two to guard each side for our, and turns to Azari, guess. Uh, as they go ahead and acclimate themselves 
uh, to our procedures, your guards will inform them what the laws are, when the curfew is, where they may go and where they may not go. Points at Dave, get in here. Points if they're at outside the city, what does a curfew have to do with anything? I, I, I'm sorry, did, did you want to go ask Gizba why that matters? I probably should. I'd probably get better answers from a dead person than you, apparently. Probably. Uh, you know, if you're going to stick around right, long Dave. enough to get the answers. I mean, you know. Uh, you can tell all the people around are getting kind of tense and kind of fidgety, including the guards, uh, because in your brief absence, the guards have talked to the people that rescued you. They have filled their ears with, oh, they're dragons and, you know, giant sea turtles and horse shit um, and electrical creatures. So <clears throat> they know that you've been in the shit. Uh, so now they're kind of questioning. Keep in mind, Doff and Lokai and some of the guards are very well equipped, way better than when you left. Uh, so something has gone haywire here. Lokai says, I am the leader of Ba. I have spoken. They may remain outside the gate under guard supervision to live out their lives until such time as I deem that they can come in and reside within Ba. There are a lot of things you are not familiar with, and I do not have the patience to tell you. Uh, Ingve, you will heal Joe, but not his eyeball. <laughs> so he is. One-eyed Joe. Oh, uh, one-eyed Joe. Okay. Uh, Lokai. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> <laughs> Turns around. Dolph follows in behind her. Uh, they return to her area. You guys are now free to move about the city of Ba. They close the gates. Uh, Peck Peck is still with you because... He's inside. <laughs> He's inside, yeah. And the guards don't know any better. And as the door is shut, somebody replaces Joe, and Peck Peck looks at you guys and says, so where am I bunking? Oh. I try to catch <laughs> Lokai, and I say, if oh, I no. catch her, <laughs> she's Do gone. Do Doff's going to hold you back. <laughs> I say, Doff, let me go out there and make sure they have provisions. Oh, you, you, you're under no restriction. Well, there, are no you. there are no barracks restrictions for citizens. Okay. She and has then... spoken. She is the administrator. <clears throat> they have to remain outside. Uh, you guys can move about freely. Okay. However, there is a curfew uh, at dawn to dusk. Uh, and why? For more attacks from the Whoppers. So the They've Whoppers been... come at night? Well, the first time they came, they came during the day and they were rather heavily armed uh, and tried to take us by force because we didn't have the fortifications. They actually got inside. Gizba attempted to stop him crushed his skull uh he was barely able to speak uh since then they've been harassing us at night uh you guys will be given guard duty assignments to man the walls uh as all able-bodied individuals uh here in ba are required to do uh he, the more he explains the more you figure out it's going to be martial law uh when the sun goes down you're either on the wall or your ass is inside all right. I'll I'll just walk <laughs> up to Azari and say, Azari, don't worry. I got this. How long until sundown? Uh, uh you guys it's have just, a couple just hours. Let this let's wait till the lights. Let's let's wait till it gets dark. I understand your frustration. I think I have a plan. Um is there um okay. Uh I have an They've idea what to, to what to do for shelter for these people. <clears throat> so uh, Ingve checks with the guards, 
heads on out. The guards are actually fitting uh, some kind of defensive fortification. Uh, looks like a picket area, and they are preparing to move it out to go ahead and expand the barrier. Okay. And because um, remember, uh, just outside is that steep drop into the lake. Right. Well, I'm going to go outside the gates. I cast Druid Craft, and two saplings come up. And I break two twigs off of it, making divining rods. And start using druid craft, start looking for like a water source. The lake? <laughs> Some, no, something drinkable. <laughs> so like oh. a spring. So uh, roll for it. <laughs> yeah, D12 against me. Okay. Eight. Uh, no, seven. So... Uh, now, there's a small inlet by the lake that's probably okay. potable, maybe a spring there. Uh, right. it, it will be a, a difficult journey down uh, for anybody uh, because it is so steep. Uh, you can also surmise that the whoppers uh, aren't going to attack from there, but you don't know what yeah. they are yet. So, but yeah, right. that's fine. Uh, right. uh, and I'll like, start like molding earth to make like a kind of like an in-ground like bunker type thing to where they could filter in and like that pit could be <laughs> cemetery block yeah. with, it, with, with ventilation a kill zone as you'd like to call it yeah uh dave what are you doing um that's good well, ale by the way got gonna need to look for more ale soon yeah you can go you can wander around in town you know where but all the taverns are i want to ask and look and see where if anybody knows where my aunt is Sure. Uh, D12 against me. Somebody's oh, going to have to tell me about them damn Dave cows. Dave is walking away. I'll tell Dave the cows got the cows got <laughs> taken. That we tied. Uh, Ty goes to the runner. Uh, your aunt is safe and sound at home. Uh, she will have small scrapes and injuries, and she also will confirm Azari's account. Uh, Geb's cows have been stolen. Geb's cows have been stolen. By ruthless bastardos. Which way did they go? Uh, they went out and around the same direction you went uh, when you started this. Off towards the uh, high grasslands. Rakir, what are you doing? Muted. Dave's going to proceed to get yeah. drunk. I'm going to uh, ask our resident druid. Um, <clears throat> Yngwie, I... I I think it would be a good idea for us to maybe fashion some type of uh, additional um, um, measures for these for these fortified sticks and such as that. Maybe some type of poison. Um, can you point me as to which maybe herbs and such as that, and maybe whip up some uh, some some poison that we could coat on the tips of some of these spears? It sounds like our village has really been under attack. You, you don't have to coat it for me. Just Maybe make me a potion of some poison that I'll go in and uh, and and apply to the ends of these sticks. Sure. Um, yeah, there there is a patch of foxglove right um, over here, and uh, yeah, I'll point you in that direction and kind of show you how to do it. <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I think you it would really help. Make sure you wash your hands. <laughs> oh, I will. I would you, gotta, you gotta wash them with pee. Get the box club <laughs> off. No uh, Azari, what are you gonna do? Uh, I'm going to go talk to my family. I guess I'll see what their accounts are of things. Ingve, uh, you are doing the saplings, finding mm -hmm. the water, pointing out uh, fox club to Rakir. Rakir, you are going ahead, and how are you going to create the toxin? Well. Um, I have, let me think, I have you a, have a botany book. No, Anybody I don't it. have a botany book. Um, oh, you've got the medical book. Somebody else has yeah. it. I got it. I got the, bot the botany book. Yeah. Okay. So he's pointed out, um, I'm just going to grind up the, uh, foxglove. That'll do and, it. Um, a mix, a mix with, um, 
mix with the the I'm going to grind up the the eyes of the squirrel as well, and That's, I'm going to grind okay get, grind that up together to a paste. Okay, okay. so the foxglove and the uh, and the dried out um, um, squirrel's eyes and the bird's eyes. I'm going to grind that all up into a paste. Then I'm going to mix that with some water and try to find some oil and uh, mix all that up together. Okay. Early on, uh, as you're grinding up the fox club, somebody bumps into you. Uh, go ahead and give me a dexterity check to make sure that you don't spill everything that you've done. Dex, I'm, I'm pretty good at. Yeah, that's going to be a um, dirty 21, a 16 plus 5, dirty 21. Uh, so you handle your equipment very well, and you turn around glaring at who was so clumsy, and it is one-eyed Joe. He apologizes that his depth perception is a little bit off at the moment and asks if you need any assistance. Uh, um, I, I, I stare at him and I said, where's your other eye? Uh, on the end of Dave's dagger. Really? Do you know where it went? Uh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Ingve doesn't oh, have right. that spell yet. Oh, was it the last thing you saw? <laughs> oh, man. As he poked into my brain, I lost track of it. Uh, wow. He is... He has been assigned as one of the outside guards. You are in good hands now. Uh, Azari, you go, up, you go up to your family. Uh, your sister is just laid out uh, on the bed. Uh, and your dad uh, first thanks you for bringing your sister back. And then not angrily, but you can tell it's a little bit terse wants to know what happened and why she is like this. I'll just tell him everything that happened about the the library and the uh, <laughs> ghost or specter that uh, ambushed or that uh, took her over um, and we stopped the ghost or specter and then afterwards she was hurt so we're not sure what's wrong and just kind of regale him the whole story. If only Gizba were alive, he would have answers. What happened to Gizba, Father? Uh, individuals that we call Whoppers came in uh, the day after you guys left to recover uh, our lost kinsmen uh, and attacked us. Gizba attempted to uh, dissuade them, but uh, he himself suffered a rather significant cranial injury. Much like what I hear happened to Joe. <laughs> uh, and then oh, from then, <laughs> from hi, the, Joe. <laughs> the uh, Whoppers has, have been attacking in the evenings. Uh, it varies early evening, early morning. Uh, they're rather rabid. Uh, we don't see them anymore. Uh, they are using missile weapons at this point in time. Sometimes they are on fire. The missile weapons. Uh, not the Whoppers. <laughs> just wanted to add that. <laughs> <laughs> just you just to clarify. That I think either way, it probably would have been interesting. Oh, Kamikaze. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, that's disturbing. Um, Almost as disturbing as the three that we caught. The three, what did they look like? Uh, they're very short, uh, but very wide. Uh, they have beards uh, that sometimes they put candles in so that they can apparently see. Uh, but they carry a large um, 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 uh, mallet type instruments and they uh, whopper us. Uh, they're very strong. They're very sturdy. Uh, they're almost built like a keg. Uh, with a lot of hair. Would this make sense in like some of the old stories? Like, it's it's kind of just sort of like you. Would this be something that like Azari may have heard of or read in like old <laughs> stories? Or are these all your culture would not have come into contact with the dwarves, which okay. is essentially what the whoppers are. 
that, that's what I figured. I was just curious. Okay. He suggests oh. that maybe you check on Gizba's residence to see if there's any information. No one has gone in there since he died. Okay. That seems uh, that seems a good idea. Uh, Father, I also found this book, and I show him the religious tome Cognitus. Um, I found this book as well as a few others. Um, I know reading isn't quite as needed in this area, but uh, you may find the information enlightening. I will let your mother look at it. She is a far better uh, at this than I am. Uh, uh, also, did your swords come back with uh, the uh, first party that came back with Doth? I gave one of the guys that the short my short swords, so maybe that's something to fight back with. Yes, they did. Thank you. Very well done. Cut to Dave. Dave, uh, you're getting hammer drunk. Uh, there are a handful of guards, a handful of citizens, uh, and a couple of the people that you rescued. Uh, they're all having dinner, eating, uh, as you're sitting there drinking alone. One of the guardsmen come up, and his mood is one of adoration, or, uh, adulation. He is happy to see you and is curious. Uh, some of the survivors that you brought back have told wild stories that I certainly cannot believe. Uh, I understand you're now a riverboat captain. We're on boat and river. Oh, steamboat Dave. <laughs> Maybe Dave say I'm the captain now. And you dealt with fantastic creatures made of pure energy. Yeah, that suck. And was there a a metal tree? Lots of them. What do they do? I don't know. And by this time, a, a small crowd has gathered around, and you can tell you have a uh, rather captive audience. There, there was a curious. boar. It was so big. Knock, peck, peck. 30 feet. It was so big. And peck, peck. Not a very good hunter. Good bait. Good bait. The boar. Pretty good hunter. But not as good as Dave. Uh, is, is Peck Peck one, one of the, the, the pointier guys? Yeah. He thinks I try and kill him. And the Twice. Crowd the crowd kind of parts and directly in front of you in a shadowy corner <laughs> is Peck Peck. <laughs> <laughs> That's him right there. He gets up, storms out the front door. <laughs> Classic Peck Peck. Classic Peck Peck. Okay, so Rakir, uh, you manage. Uh, you know what? Give me a. You want medicine or survival for the toxin creation? Um, they, they, they're the same, but I actually just 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 sent you a message. You know what my plans during the night are going to be. Okay, so that that, that... <laughs> fucking Rakir, man, fucking Rakir. <laughs> oh, okay. uh, only in the law. I'll makes offer total I'll offer sense. Tech tech makes shelter. totally complete sense. Yeah. But 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 for my uh, oh that's good. Twenty-two. Okay, that's fair. Uh, I, I will message you here in just a moment. Uh, so Rakir, uh, you go ahead and do what you need to do. Ingve, you do what you need to do. Azari, mm -hmm. you happen to catch Peck Peck kind of pissy, uh, storming across the uh, front area, offer him shelter. You do not live with your parents. Uh, so you've got the room. He could sit in the sink or something. Uh, Dave, I assume you're going to get just absolutely shit faced. Oh, I'm yeah. also going to go to Gizbaz. Okay, uh, I'll need two stealth checks. How many stealth. con checks do you want? <laughs> I want? I want four from you, Dave. 
Four contact dice. I'll also uh, offer Gizba or not Gizba. Peck Peck can have my room. I'll sleep in like the main area while he okay. does it. Okay, stealth check. Two of them. Two. One to, one to get in. One to root around. Uh, twenty three on my first stealth check. Mm-hmm. Second stealth check is even better. Twenty four. Okay, you'll get rooted around. Give me an investigation check. How are you doing on your uh, drinks, Dave? Uh, my lowest contact was a 12. Nice. Uh, then I have a 16, a 16, and a 21. Your legendary drinking ability is intact. Uh, you are feeling no <sighs> pain. Ingve, while you are finishing up your work, uh, mm-hmm. the smaller members of the tribe ask, what is to be done with us? Surely we cannot be out here waiting to be used as bait from, I guess they're called whoopers or something. We're still trying to sort that out. Uh, you I've will created... be staying with us though, right? I'll stay with you. <laughs> yes! Uh, yes! Yes! Uh, fair enough. I, I've, I've created this, this underground shelter for us for tonight and brambles to kind of add uh protection around it how, how much, on the underground railroads so, yeah. yeah how how much <laughs> earth can you mold uh with uh that is it's probably going to take me at least a couple of hours so okay. fair enough azari what's your investigation check it was a 20 uh, you find a book. Uh, you do not understand it. You find a variety of things, including his staff. Uh, mm-hmm. Nobody has claimed it. Uh, you also find uh, a scroll that appears to be a map of some kind. Okay. It is a, a dusty old trunk filled with uh, old armor, uh, including one buckler shield made of metal. Hmm. And, and it is a color you do not recognize. Okay. I'll leave that because I'll leave the armor and everything. I don't feel like it's uh, appropriate to take that, but I will uh, take the book and the scroll okay. um, and uh, head right. back out, Thanks. head back over to uh, Peck Peck. Uh, let him know what's going on um that he's welcome obviously just hope he's welcome to stay in there and then i'll head back out to uh uh i'll just let him know that you're welcome to stay in my home and take what you need as you will i'm going to go outside and uh monitor your people just to make sure nothing happens to them out there okay uh as you go back out uh you will not see dave because he's getting hammered drunk uh, oh no shit there was this thing made of bones with pointy teeth it bit off it was funny ah, 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 ah. <laughs> uh, once you make it outside the gate azari uh doff will appear uh and have some kind of bell uh that he's ringing Uh, He points at Rakir. He points at Azari. Uh, You two are on guard duty tonight. You can choose inside or out here with your... uh, What did you call them? They're known as elves. Elves. Yeah, so you can can be out here uh, or not. Uh, Joe says, hey, boss... uh, can I get a break? My eyes are really bothering me. And Doff says, no. <laughs> it's your turn to be uh, on the wall. I'll stay on the wall with you, Joe. I'll keep you company. Don't worry. He bumps into you. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, sorry. Death reception's really off. Thanks. <laughs> or I guess <laughs> Thanks. 
you so you two will be on there. Uh, Ingve, are you going to camp out in your bramble pit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dave, are you just going to get shit faced? Are you going to have your fill and then go to sleep it off? A good looking table right here to sleep on. Fair enough. Uh, God, what's the name of Azari? Do you remember the name of uh, the lady who took an interest in you? Uh, I don't remember. God, that, that was like episode two. Yeah. Her, her name is uh, what the hell's her name? I have the list of NPCs. Shirley? Wait. Not, not Ruga, not Grek, not Ek, not Doff, not Tech Tech, Sibo, Lotai. Oh, oh, wrong one. Uh, fuck it. I'll skip that until I figure it out. No, I don't, I don't remember. I, don't, I didn't write it down because I didn't care for her. I, I wrote it down and I saw it just today when I was going over my notes. Anyway, uh, I have it somewhere. Dave, you can pass out. Give me one last constitution check to make sure you don't pass out in a pool of vomit. Uh, 11 plus 15. You're fine. Uh, Rakir, you and Azari have been assigned watch. You may stay down on the deck with Ingve and the others, or you may climb up on the wall and keep an eye out. Uh, if you stay on the wall, Joe will say, hey, uh, there you are. Uh, <laughs> we need to spread out so we can keep an eye on everything. Yeah, last night they came from there. Uh, the night before they came from there. Uh, the fat bastards are everywhere. Don't worry, though. And he pulls down a bow. He goes, I got my bow. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll 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 make a suggestion. Sorry, I said Azari, I why don't why don't I go with Joe? Because I can be his eyes. Because he's gonna need some help. If not, he's just total. Uh, he, he'd be he, he'd be totally useless. And that way we could split. You know, you on one side, me on the other. We can always stay in like visual range of one another. But I really think I need to kind of help out Joe here, seeing how he's down one eye. Um, that's works just fine uh, if we get out of visual range um just yell okay i will and if i if i'm out of range and i see something i'll just roar sounds great so uh as you face north towards the lake uh rock here do you want to go to the left or to the right I, I'm I'm up on the wall with Joe. He doesn't I'll, I'll climb ask, very well either. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll ask Joe which direction do these uh, do these bad guys normally come out of? The other day that way. The other day that way. Okay, let's go in the direction that they came <laughs> from. Um, the not last night, but the night before. Rakir and Joe go to the right. Azari, you may go to the left, or you may go to the back. The back um, is a high point. Uh, looking down, there aren't many cave openings uh, for mm -hmm. the Ba people on the back, uh, but you can climb like a ledge and overlook the entire Southlands where you uh, were hunting. Sounds good. I'll do that. The backside. Uh, yeah. Let's see what the weather is. Partially cloudy, uh, so no moonlight tonight. Uh, where are they coming from tonight? Huh, interesting. Uh, okay, uh, Rakir, D12 against me. Azari, you as well, please. Okay. Dose. 19. D12. That's close to 19. <laughs> D12. I, I oh, sorry, eight. sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't hear you say D12. I'm sorry. I thought 23. <laughs> 23, that's it. <laughs> I like good old... Sorry, eight. D20. What was yours, Azari? Eight. 
So you both score an eight. Uh, the clouds are intermittently crossing over. Uh, Ingve, are you going to try and sleep or are you going to try and stay awake? I'm going to try to uh, stay awake. <laughs> Give me an I'll insight look. check. Okay. Uh, uh, 14. You're pretty sure that the way this is set up is that you and Dave probably have a pretty good chance of being stuck on guard duty tomorrow night, meaning you're going to have to sleep all day and be up all night, or you can try and stay up most of the day and be dog ass tired. Hmm. Uh, so there is a, a certain amount of jeopardy here. Right, right. Uh, Ingvay's going to try to organize a watch among the refugees. Sure. And, and set that up. And I'm going to ca call forth an animal companion, an owl, to set on top of the Fucker's going to hoot all night long. Just Probably. Keeping you, <laughs> keeping you guys up. <laughs> and as a sentry to alert me, if anything. Sure. Uh, Peck Peck will step up because Peck Peck's a stand-up guy and Dave ain't around. So he figures he can't die this night. Uh, about 11.30, midnight, That's right crazy. around there. Uh, Dave, you're dreaming of being uh, your stra hand strangling boars while scantily clad women are resting on your shoulders as, as you drool onto the tavern table looking quite pathetic. Uh, Ingve, your owl does not wake you up. Uh, Rakir, you and Joe, Joe is just blah, 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 incessant. Uh, you and Azari on the back side, give me investigation checks, please. 20. do you need from me? Investigation check. Uh, investigation. It's 16. It's a straight 16. Uh, I don't have any modification on it. Sure. Plus four. Uh, oh, no, 18. Uh, Azari, you spot way off in the distance, uh, maybe a mile, uh, a small light. Uh, give me an insight check. Okay. Uh, 19. Uh, taking the hypotenuse with the distance traveled, multiplying it by the uh, coax of the moon, you anticipate that they're probably a mile away. And that, that's probably a, a good size fire on this cloudy night that you can pick mm -hmm. up. Uh, you may surmise uh, that it is these whoppers or not. Um, you don't know. Rakir, uh, if Joe does not shut up, you're just going to have to fucking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Well, then if... Uh... Way to excite him. Yeah. Um, oh, uh, you, you haven't seen the chat. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I say, you know what? Your last story just reminded me of some of this, uh, some of this really good really good ale that we picked up last time here here you, you'll no doubt this is the best stuff you've ever had nope Dolph will hang me i cannot drink on on the duty no that's the that that's the thing is it's non-alcoholic it doesn't have any alcohol my friend Eckies says he makes non-alcohol but you know dose times I've tried this stuff <laughs> and it doesn't taste very good. But you know what? I'll try a little sip of that. My eyes really bothering me. Well, th this will this will take the pain away, trust me. So do you hand it to him? Yes, I do. He's gonna roll at disadvantage because he's, he's missing an eye. You're poisoning Joe? <laughs> uh, and he crashes his hand into the mug, ah. <laughs> spilling it. Oh, sorry. You're on my bed. 
<laughs> I can't see you're, shit you're out of this. You rolled a three. Uh, do you have any more? Um, no, no, <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> I'm I'm real sorry. It smells barky. <laughs> Yeah, it's just yeah, rolling um, straight down the stockade wall. Well, that's all right. Now uh, I learned something. I learned hey, something. Hey, Ingve, uh, can your Al drink poison? Maybe I'll just drop it right on him. <laughs> it's spiritual now. But Damn yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the, the mug, thanks to clumsy Joe, is, is over the side. Azari, uh, you see the campfire light. Uh, you don't see any dancing around or anything like that. You're too far away. Uh, Dave, I, I don't know, dancing girls. <laughs> Electric dancing girls. I got an idea. Hooters. Hooters, I got an idea. <laughs> uh, and, and you're left alone. Uh, Rakir, Azari, and Joe, I assume you guys are going to do your duty, guard, make sure. Yeah, I'm it's only a mile away. You said it's maybe like a mile. You're pretty sure it's only a mile away. That's not that far. <clears throat> oh, somebody's going to abandon his post. Deserters must die. <laughs> mm. I'm interested. I kind of want to go. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Like, it's the worst that happens. I get killed. Um, I'm going to go. <clears throat> I'm going to go get as close as I can and then stealth up to like check out their, I want to check it out to see if they're just what they're doing and who it is, who it may be. Okay. First off, you're going to have to stealth down because there are guards everywhere. Okay. Nice, give a nice take of the leg. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see what I got today. <clears throat> okay. That's a 17 plus 7, 24. That's my first stealth. So you get down on the, the grasslands on the backside. Uh, growing up, all four of you would know that this is a, a really rocky surface. Uh, it's easy to slide down, not so easy to climb back up. Uh, okay. but, but you find yourself in brambles, high grasses, bushes, things of that nature. Uh, you can hear, you know, the plodding footsteps of... Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, guards making their way around. Um, these are common citizens, not trained soldiers, so mm -hmm. they are not going to easily pick up on, hey, isn't there a guy in between us? Unless I roll a nat 20. So, you know, unless a nat 20 has been rolled, they are not going to notice that you're gone. You are now okay. at the base of the mountain. Uh, you've climbed down. Uh, again, easy to climb down. Not so easy to climb up. <clears throat> you find yourself on the grass. Uh, keeping in mind that this is going to be right where the hunting grounds were. Yeah. So uh, you proceed that way. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. Eight. Uh, you try and move silently as you may. Uh, there, there's really nothing out there other than clouds. I mean, you don't okay. hear any bane of coyotes, no wolves uh, that you can hear at this point in time. Go ahead and give me, I assume you're trying to do this stealthily. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a stealth roll. Uh, 16. Uh, rock here. Uh, as Joe continually apologizes and begins to tell this story of this fish that he caught in the lake the other day, that was at least this big. It would have fed a lot of people. You notice a celestial anomaly as a fireball streaks right across the lake, uh, just kind of skirting the area. Uh, it doesn't land. The trajectory is solid. Uh, but you've never seen something like this, uh, and you aren't sure. It goes left to right uh, from where you're at. Um, anything? How, 
how how high up are we on the wall? You guys are up about thirty feet on the wall. Thirty feet. Yeah, because the entrance to Baja is on an incline. Okay. All right. Um, I I I point to. I I I say, hey Joe, <laughs> have you ever seen anything like that before? And I try to point what? this head to where the what? thing is. What? <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> over there. <laughs> It was in my blind spot. So, <laughs> oh, I, I haven't seen it. You notice that the trajectory, while solid as it crossed over, begins to take a deep plunge. Uh, it is going to cross over the lake, but it looks like it's going to hit uh, the incline or the decline going into the lake, uh, maybe an eighth of a mile away, not too far. Give me a perception check. That's a 14. There's a loud thunderous boom as the thing just buries itself into the ground and you see a body, assholes and elbows go flying as a great white light flashes when it lands. Uh, holy shit. <laughs> Looks like it hit something. Uh, and it, look, it looks like it was a body. Uh, Ingve D12 against me. 12. Five. You don't hear shit, and you are just having these great dreams. Azari, you are on the wrong side of the mountain. You will not hear it as well. Uh, Rakir, uh, that's weird. Yeah, that that's really, really weird. Come on out. Come on out. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Check it out. out. Check, Check it, it out. out. Split the party. Split the party. Split the party. <laughs> Come on. I've already gone off to do my own yeah, stupid shit. Just go ahead and leave sleeping down. Dave's life. Yeah. No, no, no. Um, so, 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 so we're 30 feet up, right? Mm hmm. Okay, I'm gonna bump Joe over over the thing to the ground and run to go check it out. So you're throwing him off the parapet. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it's only three d six damage, and he's already he was already hurt. Well, he got healed. Oh, yeah, uh, he's that, fine. Yeah, that's three murder hobos. He ain't gonna be fine. Uh, <laughs> The good news I didn't is, mean to kill him. I, I just wanted to injure him a little bit more. Well, you did it. Yeah. 18 points worth. Uh, you know, you only had 12. But, you know, let's hear it for the murder hobo dice, folks. Wow. Uh, those those bitches really, really, really good. Oh, man. Joe's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly oh, dead. one I Joe. Joe's intestines are out his buttocks. Uh, Dave was going to give down, him a bow, too, to say sorry. <laughs> he had wow. the bow, remember? He had the bow to shoot. I know I was uh, going to give him a different one. Rock here, you scurry down, but you realize ooh, the gates are kind of closed with a great big timber. So I was kind of hoping that he would that he would live from that, and that would give me a good idea of if I could live from it. Uh, he did not live. <laughs> Damn. If he can do it, I can do it. If you that, land that... on the body, maybe that will cushion you. <laughs> At this level, doesn't it? If you spend Isn't a key that point, a DC seventeen acrobatics or something check to like land that? on the body? Yeah, he might be able to do that with a key point, free float or something. Like the like that. Slow fall, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, are you at I that level yet? Have, I, I'm what? You guys are fourth level, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I am fourth level. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think which one of those things it is. I think it's slow fall. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can use a reaction to reduce your fall damage by five times your monk level, so you can reduce it by 20. Mm -hmm. So you'd be fine, you can yeah, jump so it. Yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll uh, do that. I'll, I'll jump off and use For sure, my all ninja. <laughs> yeah, um, I'll, I'll use my slow fall. Um, Two after, learning that, after, after learning it wasn't that bad. Uh, and poor Joe, he 
he, he did die, but I realized that the damage you took was probably okay for me to take because of my, of my, of my ninja ability. It was probably a, a, the eye. It was screwed That's up. what happened. You, you thought Joe over. could do that too. <laughs> Just let, let, let's see if anybody no, was, spots you. I, I was pretty sure he was going to get hurt, but I wanted to see exactly how hurt and then that way figure out if I could survive. It was the rock at the bottom. That, that sudden stop really got him. So you airbender all the way down to the ground, land down. You've got all the elves. Uh, so far, all the elves have their back to you. So these guys haven't noticed you. So I will need stealth for you to get over the picket line and head off an eighth of a mile down the trail to see what the hell was. Whoa. How many um, uh, How many stealth rolls do you need? I need just the one so that you can make it past this and then who gives a shit as you cross the open Okay, ground. that'll be that'll be an 18, a 15 plus three. Sure, you managed to skirt everybody, head off down the trail again. You grew up here for the most part. You know right. the area. You know, you're only an eighth of a mile away. You can head over that way. Uh, Dave, uh, still drooling. Uh, when you wake up, somebody will put a piece of fabric there uh, to just kind of make sure that you don't ruin the wood. Ingve, you are just zonked. You're uh, Bilbo, or what was that? Yeah, we'll just say it's that. Bilbo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bilbo. Uh, not going to wake you up because there's no threat from the outside. Okay. So you're fine. Uh, Rock here, you head down the road. Azari, eh, you still got a ways to go. Uh, the clouds uh, and the high grasses obscure your view. Give me a survival check, Azari. Give me a survival check, Rakir. Survival check, Rakir. Okay, that's only an eight that time. You do not notice the predator footprints in the dirt. Uh, 15. Azari, uh, you notice that something large has recently passed in this direction. Okay. So do you continue on to where you think you saw the fire? Um, yeah, I'll continue on. I'll keep a lookout while I'm doing <clears throat> Survival check. Okay. Survival check. Uh, 17. Uh, Rock here, you kind of head in the direction where you think the fireball landed. Give me a right. survival check. Survival check. That's a 10. Uh, odd left, even right. Odd, uh, give me a dexterity check as you kind of step over the precipice leading down to the lake. That's a 13. A what? 13. You catch yourself, but you make quite a racket. <laughs> now, you, you are closer to your target than Azari was. So as you get closer, give me a perception check. Okay. Is a 17. 30 feet ahead of you, give or take a few inches, you hear voices in a language you do not understand. They seem, give me an insight check. Australian. <laughs> that, that's just a straight 13 i don't have it i don't have it. Uh, no way on inside i have a plus four so that's a 17 uh they seem upset about something not like pissed off uh but oh hey our friend just got blown up uh but you can tell <coughs> roughly 30 feet uh you hear at least three voices Okay, I will. I will try to make my way as quiet as I can uh, towards towards them to see if I can see them. I I mean, we don't have any moonlight and it's dark. Uh, is there any light left over from the explosion? Uh, there, the grass around the area is still a little bit chipper, uh, but most of it's burnt. Uh, there's no 
bonfire here. It's not Oregon. He yeah. should be okay. So it's just I'm just hearing voices, but I can't. I but I can't see anything. Mm -mm. And you do not have infravision or dark vision. No, I either, don't. So. I don't. No. No. Uh, you go about ten feet. The voices are pretty close. You can definitively hear three, and now you hear a fourth. Still in, in in a language I don't know at all. Never heard. Right? Nope. Oi, oi, prick! Have no idea. Eat John the Fireball came from Scott Blaney. Eat fucking pizza. What? All right. Ten uh, traffic's clear. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to engage or sit yes? Back? I actually do. I'll I'll step out and. Uh, <laughs> Get murdered. Say hi. Uh, <laughs> say hi. Jesus. Four individuals, short, squat, heavily bearded, uh, barrel chested, uh, have uh, these elongated hammers uh, with a point on one end and a flathead on the other, uh, are startled. One, one. Uh, but immediately take defensive action. Uh, and shout some kind of gibberish, shrimp on the Barbie, uh, men at work. Dingle ate my baby. Yeah. <laughs> Something's I'm going on. Dingle ate your baby too. They look pissed, <laughs> and the four of them kind of whoop, fan out. Uh, and it is clear to you without an insight check that you are about to get your shit pushed in. These must be the whoppers. Uh, I will have you roll initiative after Azari uh, approaches his area. Are you, uh, sure with Rothwapers? Are you going to use any stealth at all, Azari, or are you just going to traverse the open area? Uh, I'll use stealth because I want to. I just want to see what's going on before I, if I choose to engage or not first. Okay. Uh, I want you to give me a survival check. Okay. Um, and due to my skill as a gloom stalker, uh, mm. just so you're aware, I'm invisible to dark vision. So if they're using dark vision, looking around, they can't see me. They'll be up against the fire, so they will not see you. Okay. Cut. Uh, that is, you said, uh, survival? Yep. 22. Nice. Uh, you proceed yeah. across... You do not interrupt any interlopers on your way across. Uh, Dave, uh, somebody smacks you in the face to wake you up. Sounds fair. Where the fuck are your friends going? Who? Who? Azari has left his post. He has abandoned it. Who? <laughs> get up. So get your weapon. Uh, he leaves you out the main gate. Uh, you see Ingve. Ingve, you get kicked in the side. Uh, oh. Doff is pissed. Oh, so he's come into the refugee camp? Yeah. Get your oh, oh, all right. your, your friend has left his post. He's a traitor. He's probably working with the Whoppers. Change Where, your tone. Where's Rakir? Rakir was not staying here. Did I ask if he was staying here? Where the hell's your other friend? I've been here all night, so how the fuck do I know where he is? As far as I know, he was in the gates. <laughs> get, get your shit. We got to go around the mountain. Your friend was in the back. My guard spotted him going down the hill. Take your leave. I'll be right behind you. Now. Tick yeah. Tock. Yeah, tick tock, motherfucker. Go. <laughs> Put your pants on. He leaves, Dave. Uh, you're about half hung over. Give me a constitution check. Not 20. Fucker. Got of course. You. <laughs> it's, yeah. Sorry. I'd have rather had that come up at a different time myself. Yeah. Azari, uh, you are moving along as best you can. You get about within 80 feet and you can hear multiple individuals. Uh, talking in a guttural language. Uh, they okay. seem to be arguing back and forth as you kind of look over the high grasses. 
uh, you notice it is a conclave. Uh, there's a good 15, 20 of these fuckers. Using this. Short, okay. uh, barrel chested, beards, uh, war hammers. Uh, okay. And they're pissed about something. They're drawn okay. in the ground. Okay. Uh, do I hear any of them by chance? Do any of them use like an undercommon or a deep speech by chance? Mm-mm. Or is it all gibberish? Okay. Hell dwarves. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but they seem aggravated, and they're they're pointing towards Ba. Okay, um, I will. <coughs> oh man, I don't speak Dwarvish. I don't know if I'd be able to get through to him if I did. Give me a perception uh, check. Okay. Um, so that's a 20. Uh, they're wearing the same armor that Doff is wearing, uh, only theirs fit better. Uh, oh, their weapons are superior to yours. Uh, mm-hmm. and if you engage these guys, it's going to be a handful. Yeah, I, I'd pretty much be dead. Um, or not. All right, you, can, you can always try it. Yeah. <laughs> There's only 15. That's easy. Easy. Um, all right. I'll, uh, I'll start hitting back. Um, I'll start hitting back. Stealth. Okay. Make sure you don't bring a stream of them with you. Oh my God. Uh, that's a 22 stealth. Okay. You managed to back away. Fuck this job. This sucks ass. Uh, Dave, uh, Doff is moving quickly down the way he's half orc so he can see a little bit uh in the darkness the clouds overhead are offering very little moonlight illumination getting a little bit dry mouth uh because you haven't had anything to drink in an hour uh ingve has hiked up his britches and is headed uh behind you i assume mm-hmm. yeah do, uh, can i persuade Two, uh, two of the refugees to come with me, men. Oh, you got a problem with the women? Or women. <laughs> misogynist saying, pig. Yeah, I am a misogynist <laughs> pig. No, I didn't mean it like that. Two individuals to come with me. Odd ladies, even males. Okay. Uh, two and a four. Uh, two of the males. One will be Peck Peck. Uh, okay. Will, what Spears are we at the ready. <laughs> okay, so they're hustling along behind you. Uh, clearly, Doff and Dave have somewhat of a lead on you. Rakir, how about we roll initiative so I can push in your shit? <laughs> ah, crap. That's going to be a 13 for me. Very nice. Uh, not that it applies at the current moment. Uh, Dave and Ingve, Ingve, Peck Peck will go on your initiative. And okay. I will roll for Doff. Uh, in base initiative is 15, just to put them in the count. Gotcha. Dave, 17. Nice. Dave, uh, you're hearing some kind of guttural language ahead off the trail. Uh, at the same time, you notice Doff. And he goes off the trail into the high grasses. Uh, uh, Rakir, you have the drop on them. Uh, they are spread out. They are going to treat you like a pinata. What do you want to do? I will. Um, I will throw a dart and then use um, a Kai point to use the disengage action as a bonus action in GTFO. Um, yelling and screaming the whole time. Braves are coming. The British are coming. The British are coming. Exactly. <laughs> they hear you at the hydroelectric plant. <laughs> yeah, um, I say, they're right behind me. The whoppers are right behind me. 
And uh, but that's that's I'll, I'll I'll throw one dart at the one closest to me. I think it's a disadvantage because it's dark, right? Uh, yes. So that's a six, and then eight, and then it's plus. So one second, it's plus five. So that's an eleven. That dart's uh, gone. <laughs> 11 is the lowest. Uh, that, that's 11. Uh, the dart uh, is gone, and you take off, uh, and now i got to play the Baywatch theme again and annoy my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you, as you take off running, you help, help, help. No, I'm, being no I, I'm not saying help, help, help. I'm saying uh, They're right I, found I found <laughs> them. I found them. They're right, They're right behind me. I found them. <laughs> if only you had carried Joe with you. <laughs> I was, I was body. checking on Joe because he <laughs> fell and, you know, I was checking on him to see if he was okay because because he fell off because he's blind and he fell off. And then I heard voices and then I went and investigated it as a good guard would. Right. Uh, roll me a 20 as you're running away. D20. Okay. Straight D20 is just a 12. Straight roll. Fair enough. Uh, you go tearing through the grass. They're right behind me. They're right behind me. Uh, give me a perception check. That's a 20, dirty 20. Uh, there are three figures in the grass to your left, one lumbering figure to your right. You immediately recognize Dave lumbering forward, and Doff is one of the three on the left. Uh, hey, a, right here. a piece of profanity is leveled at you uh, from Doff as these four charge forward and they engage with uh, the whoppers. So Dave, with your 17, we'll call this new round, you're up first. First available whopper. I'm using that bonus action to rage on my way there. Sure. Yeah. I'm still drunk. <laughs> <laughs> new thing to squish. Hey boys from Sigma Chi. I hate Sigma Chi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, 24 to hit. That hits. Shadow Bane brings that. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, B -O plus. Okay. And I got to roll a D6. Sorry. Okay. So that's uh, 5 plus 6 is 11 plus 5 radiant damage is a total of 16 damage. 5 of a radiant. Uh, you hit number 1. Uh, Ingve, you and Peck Peck see a commotion about 40 feet ahead. Oh, as uh, soon as he hit, I hit him, I say, Hi, I'm Dave! What a dumbass. <laughs> uh, Dolph uh, and Rakir. Uh, Rakir, you will go first. As you pass by these guys, again, Doff calls you a specific name, uh, but he and his men and Dave are all engaging. So as you're running this way, they're running that way. What do you want to do? Um, I'll circle back around and follow Doff. Fair enough. Uh, Dolph Push him first. And his men will engage. <laughs> One of Dolph's men hits a gopher hole and he goes down like a stump. Uh, Dolph, however, connects. Fred, no. That's not good. Uh, the other one misses. Uh, Azari, you don't hear shit. Are you going to try and go in the same way, i.e. climb the backside, or are you going to go around to where you know there's a gate? Uh, you are well aware that climbing that is going to be a bitch. I'll go around to where there's a gate. Fair enough. Uh, new round. Dave, start us off. Yep. Uh, that's going to be 17 to hit. Sure. Oh, actually, it's 19 to hit. Sorry. And uh, 11 plus 6 is 15. 
or no, 17 plus five radiant on top of that. So that's 23 or 22 total. Five of which was radiant. You know what? I didn't go yet. <laughs> I just remember that. <laughs> so, so what's your total? Uh, 23. Okay. You're going to kill this guy this round, but first. After he gets to try. Right. He's going to go. Now, are you reckless or just raging? I'm just raging. Okay. So on you, uh, eight plus four, 12 on Doc. Quiff. Uh, Dave Abflex is away from his weapon. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Doff. Uh, Mrs. Doff's other guy, but the one who put his foot in a gopher hole is going to be an advantage. Uh, yeah, that one is a hit. Eight points to Doff's guy. Uh, screams unmercifully. Uh, now, new round, uh, Dave, you kill your guy. <laughs> Doff, I thought you said they were tough. Uh, Ingve, you, Peck Peck, and the other one have arrived just as Dave pummels his guy. There are three left. One is close by because he's beaten on the guy with his foot in the gopher hole. One is engaged with Doff. The other is engaged with uh, Doff's other guy. Okay. And you uh, see Rakir just ahead of you trying to figure out, or you see him spin around, uh, and he's just getting his forward momentum back. Right, right. Uh, seeing this, Ingve chooses the one uh, on Doff's guy and the one that's engaged with Dave and spending a sorcery point cast heat metal on both of them so uh so that's uh 2d8 damage they'll take and i'll roll for that okay uh, that shit i'm smoldering shit now <laughs> <laughs> don't think i have not thought of that <laughs> okay uh 11 points of fire damage do they get a saving throw at all? Uh, I don't think they do. <coughs> uh, any creature with physical contact of the metal objects that they're wearing? Uh, yeah, I mean, until the spend, spell ends and it's a minute. <laughs> sure. No, that's not a problem at all. Uh, Peck Peck and the other guy. Peck Peck's going to be the root bear. Heck, that connects, and his friend connects. 17 and 16. They both are armed with spears. Oh, murder hobo and a one. Uh, they go, rock here. Reinforcements have arrived. That's great. Now, now uh, Doff is engaged with one, and you said that it, that it did connect on its last hit? For five. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, no, Doff got missed. One of Doff's associates with a leg in the gopher hole got hit for eight. I see. So Doff is completely uninjured. Correct. Damn. Um. <laughs> I throw three darts in the back of Doff's head <laughs> from point blank range. <laughs> I wish I had some poison left. That's a problem. Is that uh, is that I was making my potion there. And I poison those and, darts, man. <laughs> well, no, I mean, I'm not a total psycho. Uh, <laughs> really? <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get on Doff's good side. Uh, whoever, whoever his, uh, whoever his assailant is, I will, uh, I will absolutely throw a, uh, throw a dart and then, uh, I'll close to range and then use another high point for a uh, flurry of blows. <laughs> Please be a one. <laughs> sure, go ahead. <laughs> I so want a one here. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, it's, that's, that's an 11. It probably won't hit. Nope, right at his feet. All right, but then I close the distance uh, and do two uh, unarmed strikes. Now, this is the one on Doff, right? The, whoever Doff is, whoever Doff is attacking. Gotcha. Okay. Right. I'm not. I'm. I'm not attacking Dolph. Gotcha. Yeah. There's three left. One on Dolph. One on the guy in the gopher hole. And one is going to be on Ingve. And this is the one. This is the one on Dolph. I'm going to gotcha. get two unarmed strikes. 
That is a six plus five is a 17. That hits. That'll do four, that'll do four hit points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, and that's both your attacks or still no, have one. one? The other one also is gonna hit, that's a 22 and, and it's an unarmed, so it's one plus my strength modifier. So that's another that's another four points of damage. So eight total uh, bludgeoning damage to whoever's on the uh, He gives you a sideways glance, uh, but appreciates the assistance. Uh, that brings us to Doff and his men. Uh, Doff does not connect, but his men do. Uh, seven, uh, the bad guys. So on Doff, one to four on Doff, five or six on you, Rick, here. On Doff. Uh, hits. Doff gets hit, not severely. Uh, Doff standing guy. Oh, yeah, that hit. <laughs> Six, I'll call him other guy. Uh, leg in the gopher hole. That hits. Ooh, down he goes. Uh, he goes down. So Ingve and Rak or Ingve and Dave, you both notice whoop, uh, the guy in the gopher hole. Uh, his head looks like a crushed grape at this point in time. Uh, top of the order, Dave. Well, if there's somebody threatening Ingve, that'd be my first target. Okay, that's number three. Did okay. He, did he kill the, the guy that was engaged with him? Yep. The new guy? Okay. Uh, does a 19 hit their armor class? Yep. Okay. 15 um, is your magic number for these guys. Okay. Um, that's going to be... 13 points of slashing damage and three points of radiant damage. Almost. Ha! Squish! Uh, 15. Ingve and Peck Peck and the other guy. Okay. How many of the two that I superheated are, are up? Did Dave kill one of them? Uh, give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, perception, uh, 18. Studded leather armor and wooden mallets. I thought they were wearing plate. Um, studded leather, finely crafted studded leather. Okay. What about their weapons? I mean, if they're holding metal weapons, those are going to heat. Wooden mallets. Wooden mallets? What the fuck? <laughs> Azari saw the leaders with good armor. These are grunts. Um, okay. Um, All right. My bad. I was assuming that they were in plate and I, I was thinking they were it's dark battle dwarves. Man. Yeah, it's dark. You can't see them. Okay. Well, yeah, the this one... is an area effect and would have gotten Doff in that too. It was targets. Well, Doff, 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 Doff is wearing. Oh. Uh, metal studded leather armor. No, no, no. It, it's not an area effect. It's. Uh, I know. I he's said fucking with you. <laughs> Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Actually, Dolph is wearing ring mail. Is what he's. Doing. Okay, the one that's on me. Then he's going to have to do a Constitution check. Fourteen. Safe. I mean, that's a two. Okay, he is going to take. Uh, twelve points of radiant damage, and a bright moonbeam's just going to come down. Slam, he dies. slam it down on him. Okay. He dies. Uh, Peck Peck and Quish. his ah. associate also hit him as you did. Uh, so he got the triple whammy. Uh, Doff and Rock here. You want to go first or you want him to? Doff can go first. A two. <laughs> he. Swings his weapon up and over the side of your head, narrowly missing it. 
and this is the bad guy. Okay, I'll um, do a uh, attack with my quarter staff this time, and another Kai point uh, to do another flurry of blows and take two. Um, you know, like it'll be like one with uh, with a quarter staff, and then spinning around and two kicks. That's that's kind of how I envision the flurry of blows going, just like one big fluid motion. Sure. I envision a one and kicking Dolph in the face. <laughs> no, but I'm not having very good with my primary attack. That's the second 11 I've done. Nope. Must have missed because Dolph's swing almost took your head off. Yeah, the, the unarmed strikes are doing good. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's a 22 and a 20. Both hit. Yeah, that'll be another eight hit points of damage total, four hit points each. You're so that's kicking. 16, 16 loses, total on Dolph's guy. Yeah, he loses some teeth, uh, yeah. but he's still up. Uh, okay. Azari, did you get your roll in? Four. I sent you a message. Oh, I didn't even see my... I didn't Inve see my... Investigation check. Okay. Um, that's a 17 on investigation. Uh, you hear two things, the sound of battle and something crawling through the high grasses as you're trying to make your way back to Ba. If you were at the base of the mountain, kind of hugging it, I assume. Something yeah. is moving to your right. Sounds of battle are straight ahead. Uh, Rakir, you've gone. Dolph went. Dolph's guy. Four. Misses that time. Uh... There are only two left. Uh, I'll go one to three rock here, four to six Doff. They hate Doff, and who <laughs> doesn't? Uh, Ingve oh, one, Peck Peck two, Peck Peck's friend three, and Doff's friend four. Doff is growing on me, kind of like a tumor. Two, <laughs> Peck Peck. So, oh, poor Peck. <laughs> so on Doff. Ooh, yeah, Dolph got hit nicely. Uh, Peck Peck got hit nicely. Must be standing close to Dave. <laughs> 11 damage as Dolph wavers very badly. Uh, he is not good. And Peck Peck, not good at all. Uh, Ollie Butters is Fucking Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Azari, uh, something moving to your right, something moving ahead. Something moving to my right, and I can't see it, uh, what it is. It's not moving very fast, and you can't see it. You can barely see the tops of the grass and brambles moving around. Okay. Uh, I'm going to keep moving ahead towards the sound of the battle. Sure. Uh, top of the order, Dave. There's ah. two left, one on Dolph and uh, Rahir, and he does not look good. The other one is on Peck Peck, your best friend in the whole wide universe, uh, and he's fine. <laughs> Gotta say, Peck Peck. Okay. Please roll a fucking one so I can die laughing tonight. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Squish! Oh fuck! It's a one. I am not shitting. Peck Peck's oh, dead. Oh fuck! Goodbye, Peck Whoa. Peck. Um, that's that's uh, sixteen points of slashing damage and um, five points of radiant damage. Peck Peck's head pops off like a Pez dispenser. Peck Peck is. Dead, dead. Oh my god. Dead, oh. dead. <laughs> After Peck Peck's rant and going off at her, I was he was really like growing on me on that one. I did not see that one coming. <laughs> uh, I am not I am not dissatisfied. I just did not see it coming. Uh Ingve, uh wait, wait. Peck Peck's doesn't he take half damage from from from, from friendly fire? He does. Okay. So he's really down. <laughs> and with 16, 8, uh, he had one hit point left. 
Okay. 16 slashing. Plus oh, you know what? I, I will medium. say, uh, Dave has opened up his. Are you using a blunt instrument or a bladed instrument? That's the axe. Shadow Bane. Yeah. Uh, his carotid. Uh, uh, and it starts spurting out blood in Ingve. Ingve, uh, give me a survival roll to make sure that you aren't blinded by blood in your eye. <laughs> uh, t- uh, survival? Okay. Uh, 16. Uh, yeah, it just coats your uh, outfit. Uh, there is a guy in front of you. Okay. Oh, all right. This guy, uh, yeah. So dad. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Wow. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. All right. Well, with this, uh, Ingve is gonna hit him again with uh, the moonbeam. So another constitution check, 14. Uh, makes it. Okay. 16. All right. Uh, then Ingve's gonna gonna... Peck survival roll. Oh shit! Is a twenty? Wow! (laughs) Oh man! Oh oh, 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 wow! His hand falls across the carotid, crushing it, holding off the blood. (laughs) Fuck! I had him! I had him! (laughs) Don't let him die. He's such a He's such the happy asshole. I'd already written him off, so now I I literally, I scratched out his name. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. So, Ingve is going to shapeshift into a wolf. (laughs) Wait a minute. Didn't you do this moonbeam thing? Yeah, I did. Is shapeshifting a bonus action or an action? I think it's an action. Okay, then no. Then... What, I do have a bonus action. I summon a spirit totem, and it's it's the healing spirit totem. Okay, so, is it save or suck on the moonbeam? Uh, it, it's save or suck. Okay, so, that's fine. Yeah. So the at least the totem goes off, and four hit points are, are restored to everybody around. Fucking Peck Peck is the luckiest cocksucker on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I still have attacks left. <laughs> You want to finish them all? <laughs> well, yeah. We'll see what happens. Maybe another fucking magic one will happen. Sure. Go ahead and knock the golf ball out of his mouth. Oh. Go, go ahead and take your shot, Dave. Oh, I, I mean, I don't actually have attack this round. Next round. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ingve went. Uh, peck, peck. Fuck it. My only 20 of the night uh, is his death save. Son of a bitch. Dolph and Rakir, you guys are up. Do okay. you want to go first or do you want him to? Um, let's let let's let Dolph go first. I, I, that's what I do. He's, he's kind of wobbly, unsure. Uh, there's blood streaming from his forehead getting into his eye. Uh, and he misses. Uh, not he was close, uh, but he misses. Okay, I'll I'll take my uh, my final um, key, po- um, uh, key point to the flurry of blows, but I'm gonna since I'm starting off with I'm doing better on my flurry of blows uh, on on Doff's on Doff's assailant. I'll do the first kick around for that. Twenty-four, and that'll do another four hit points of damage. That puts him down. Okay, so Doff then- slumps to his knees. Finish him. Wipes yeah. the blood from um, his eye, and like, I'll I'll turn to Dolphin. Face. I'll turn to Dolphin. Say, been waiting a long time for this, and oh, kicked off in the head and stab <laughs> him in the throat. <laughs> yes, yes. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I saw it coming. I saw it coming. You see nothing. Yeah. <laughs> that's that. That's a that's a nineteen with my an arm strike that'll do four okay. hit points of damage. Okay. That is enough to put him down, even with uh, or that does not put him down because Ingve got out four hit points to everybody. Right. That's yeah. and that's twenty three on my dagger. That hits. Uh. 
and that's seven hit points of damage. Gotta rewrite the fucking campaign again. <laughs> uh, and with my move action, I drag him away from the uh, drag him away from the healing tote. Okay, uh, that's fair. Uh, his associate does he spot you? It's dark. Uh, with a seventeen, he was fighting side by side with his associate. He leaps. Well. Yeah, he can leap towards you uh, because they have killed number three. Okay. Uh, he is going to go after you. Next round, uh, I have one bad guy. <laughs> All right, is he going to hit Peck Peck or Dave? Come on. Peck Peck's down ish. Uh, one to three, Dave, or you, you charged in. One to four, Dave, five or six, Peck Peck. Okay, bitch. Peck Peck might die anyway. <laughs> oh, man. With a three, uh, he attempts to slice at Peck Peck, who rolls narrowly out of the way, leaving a great big blood stain there. Ah. Top of the order, Azari, you are right there, 15 feet away. You see a, a mass of tangled bodies. Give me a perception check to see if you can tell who is who. Okay. And then give me that's your a, initiative roll. That's a 24 for perception and huh? a 16 for initiative. Dave, there is one uh, whopper up. One of Doff's guys is peeling off. You don't know why. Whopper time. Bye, Peck Peck. <laughs> uh, it's a 20 to hit. Dirty type. And uh, um, that's going to be 12 points of slashing for Radiant. Not enough. He is still upright. Can't make the dice roll higher. Azari, you can tell from the swing which one is Dave and who he's swinging at. Okay, because yeah, he's screaming. It's a individual. Okay, I'll uh, fire at the shorter individual. Okay. Uh, with sharpshooter. Um, so that is a... Uh, that's a... Sorry, I can't math today. Uh, 17 to hit. That hits. Okay. He takes 12, 22 points of damage. Oh, yeah. It goes right in his, the side of his temple, and he just falls to the ground. Uh, 15, Ingve. Uh, you have erected your totem. Uh, That's all right. <laughs> Peck, Peck Peck is on the ground. Uh, uh, but you can see his eyes are moving, so he's still alive. Okay. And uh, the combatants, the enemy combatants are down, right? Correct. Okay. So, uh, another oh, as I ran force... up after I shot him, I'll yell out, more are coming, more are coming. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> uh, four hit points uh, for, for Peck Peck uh, for, because of the totem. <laughs> He uh, he is one tough son of a bitch. Dude, fuck Dave. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> and I'll and I'll cast a healing spirit, so the spirit of the raven will come, and uh, yeah, that is uh, additional two points of healing for a minute. <laughs> Where are more? Okay, he's. <sighs> That's her. Rock here. Uh, you're dragging a body. You see a shadowy figure leaping at you. Uh, you both have 13. Uh, do you want to go first or do you want me to try and shank your ass? No, I'm going um, to I'm going to look at him and saying, you know how this is going to happen. You know how this is going to go down. 
Are you sure you want to do this? 14 plus 2, 16 hit you? <laughs> yes, he does want to do that. <laughs> and the answer is yes. Yeah, it sounds like yeah. it. 16 hits me. Seven hit points uh, as the spear lodges into you. Yeah. At the, I, 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 at the I, same I, time, I, you are doing what? Well, um, I'm uh, that that takes because I've killed two people now. So now that I had 12, I get the way of long death, I get six hit points every time I kill someone of 10, 10 hit points. So that takes my two hit points down a little bit. And um, I don't have any more, 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 more key points. So I can't step of the wind to disengage. So I can't do that. Uh, no, I'll, I'll go ahead and swing my, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll go ahead and swing my, uh, swing my, swing my quarter staff at him. Sure. 13 to hit one of Dolph's guys. That's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a 20, a dirty 20. That clocks him. That's going to be he, is, he is injured. Four plus three, that's seven hit points of bludgeoning damage. Takes him down to 13. He is looking mighty poor. Uh, top of the order. Uh, Dave is squishing people. Um, you didn't utter for help. Uh, so, Azari, what do you want to do? Um, I'm going to what Dave does. I'm going to turn back to where I was looking because I remember there was someone or something following or kind of leaving this area. Yeah. Someone was leaving the area? They were going the opposite direction you were. Oh, okay. Can I see them out in the grass or anything? Okay. Can't see shit. It's cloudy night. Okay. Even with my... Oh, no. That's, they're probably got farther than 90 feet. High grass. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll kind of look at what the fuck Rakir is in a fight with the other guy. No clue where Rakir is. It's oh, no pitch okay. dark here, yeah. Oh, even with my dark vision, I can't see where everybody's at? There is bodies everywhere. You can't really tell who's who. Okay. Um, I'll just start, like, checking the bodies to make sure if anybody's alive or if it's any of our people? Peck, peck. Don't. It's peck, peck. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's. I'll uh, I'll cast uh, a cure wounds on peck, peck, so that way. Dave, what are you doing? Um, I was going to run after Doff's buddy because I saw where which way he went. You did see which way he went, so yep. you can head through there. Uh, give me a dexterity check so you don't trip over Doff's dead body. Uh, that's peck, a nineteen. Peck, yes. Uh, without anything added to it. Uh, 21. Okay. How much uh, healing is Ari? Eight. Eight points healing. Back, back. Okay. Uh, Dave, uh, as you leap forward, you do not have dark vision, correct? Yes, I do. Okay. You see two figures approximately the same height. One is on the left. One is on the right. They are engaged in combat. Uh, who do you want to go after? Hold on a second. There you go, Rock here. That's which one you are. Okay. So, Dave, left or right? Uh, well, somebody's fighting with somebody there, so left. Fair enough. Go ahead and attack. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well. My my intention was to go with the unarmed strike because I don't know who's who. Sure, go ahead. And I'm not <laughs> actively. Oh, anyway, uh, sure. that's a 14 to hit. Rock here, does that get you? Nope. Uh, you swing and a miss, and as you come close to Rock here, it's like, whoop, sorry. <laughs> uh, you're huh. gone. Azari's gone. Ingve, uh, you notice has already dropped down and also healed Peck Peck. He's going to have more fucking scars. <laughs> right, right. Uh, yeah, gonna, gonna uh, the, the spells is still up, so he takes an additional eight. So, you know, 
So, okay. but uh, it do it. I got to go back to his people, like get be his other person and go back to the their encampment. Shut up! Leave <laughs> me alone! Shut <laughs> up, all of you! <laughs> so, is there? Uh, so, do I see what's going on with uh, Rakir, uh, Dave, and the? Uh, you see, Ricky the uh, Flash run past. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> He's headed that way. Pet Peck's friend cradles him like the Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be okay. It'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can head that way. You're blind. It's dark. And you're pretty sure you heard Azari say, there's more coming. I whatever. Uh, okay. Where the hell, where the fuck he came from? You have no idea. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tell you, I'll tell him I'll, you have a bad mad 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 world. <laughs> I'll I'll tell his other uh uh Peck Peck's friend to take him back and uh I'll head off to uh the direction of uh Rakir and the the scrum that's hand, that's that's starting to form right now. Fair enough, Rakir. You and I, mano a mano. <laughs> And I'm yelling out murder, and I'm going to try and hit you. Okay, he, he, he can go ahead and try to hit me. And so I was trying to help him. You saw me. I was trying to hit. What the hell are you doing? Nineteen on the die roll. <laughs> that will hit me. That will absolutely hit me. Dead now. <laughs> Five hit points of damage as he guts you with a spear. Yeah, he's almost gotten past all my attempts. Is all. Swing back my uh, bludgeoning, uh, my my uh, my yeah, quarter staff. Yes, sure. Yes, that is a seventeen. Uh, how much damage? D six plus three. That is going to be five plus three is eight. Eight hit points of bludgeoning damage. If you saw kick ass, he hits you. You hit him. You don't go down. He goes down, uh, bleeding profusely uh, from a scalp wound. Dave, there's Doff, dead. Uh, you don't know what the fuck is going on. You know that Rakir has been yelled murderer at him. Uh, Ingve trots up behind you in the dark. Uh, Ingve, give me a dexterity check. Make sure you don't trip over Doff's body or the other guy. <laughs> okay, Dex. Uh, uh, 18. You do not trip over the bodies. Azari, uh, Peck Peck, is helped up and dragged away. You're thinking, geez, prick, I tried to save your life. And then, oh shit, uh, there might be more coming. <laughs> yeah. I'll turn to the ridge and start like where, uh, like over the cliffside and keep looking out for. Sure, you do not see any torches coming this way. I'm going to heel kick Doff's buddy and make sure he's dead. <laughs> uh, straight up D20. Make sure you don't roll another one and kick Rock here in the face. Oh, that's a nat 20. Okay. In the military, that's what we call Snap! a boot. That's what we call a boot <coughs> sign. There you go. <laughs> you you skull stomp this fucker. Doff's dead. And then I look Doff's at Rock here and go. Dead. Doff's friend in the gopher hole is dead. Uh, Peck Peck, nearly Heroes. dead. <laughs> uh, Azari, you're oh my gosh. Uh, and you're alone, which is always a good sign. Uh, yeah. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, if I don't see anything, like any movement or anything like that i'll move back to find out what happened because i pretty much came in at the end <laughs> well doff has a secondary oh. smile doff is that, dead okay uh he's got a columbian necktie well the whoppers do not have blades <laughs> so there's okay. that <laughs> uh ingray's totem is just boo uh, yeah, so it, it only any, lasts a minute, but how many rounds have been gone? So, so uh, you can see a collection of 
upright individuals not too far away. Okay. I'll and you can hear them question. speaking, uh, and because I'm sure you hear squash as Dave puts his boot through uh, the dude's head. <laughs> so you four uh, are out there alone in the dark with a lot of dead bodies. Yep. So That's about right. Someone hey, could put me up to guys. speed. Hey, <laughs> guys. So someone could tell me what happened. The short version. Oh, um, easy. We killed a lot of shit. Who killed Dolph? What <laughs> I mean, I when I say that, and I immediately look at Rakir. There's no, there's no. I don't. I know it's not Dave because Dave does. Dave doesn't like Dolph, but he needs a good reason, and that's not a Dolph killing. So I look immediately at Rakir. Who killed uh, Dolph? Your amongst friends. Yeah. Um, well, I wanted to see what would happen. Ah, all right. Everybody roll a perception check. No, I, actually, actually I, I, I don't say that. That's a little bit too freaky. 17. I, I, I was gonna, 17. I was say, now, that's... That's a little too freaky. No, no, no. I, I, that, when I, that just didn't come out right at all. This is, no, I said, I'm going to say, Azari, you know I wanted to kill this fucker for a long time. I took my chance. He did everything he could to, to, to get in our way. He did everything he could to, to, to try to harm us. I took my chance. As Rocky right. goes and, over... And, and I'll be honest with it. I'll 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 tell him. As Rakir goes through his uh, motions of faux sadness, uh, Dave, you clearly hear there's noise coming from around the mountain. Cool. Uh, I got hey. twenty on my perception. You also hear it. Is it metallic noise? <laughs> uh, sounds like booted feet. I'll head that way. I'll also head that way. Uh, Insight Azari. Jeez. Uh, 15? Not going to be a good idea if it's all of them. Uh, If it's all of them, that's five times. That's 20. 15 to 20 more warriors. With better armor and better weapons. Yes. I'm not sure how you all fared here. That's, I came in the end. Ask Peck Peck. <laughs> uh, obviously, Peck Peck did not get hit with a blunt weapon. So. Uh, Dave. <laughs> Peck Peck, too slow. Let's. Maybe we can split this. Uh, we need someone to go warn the people to prepare. Maybe we can flank in a different area and attack from two prongs. Wait. That's a great idea, sorry. And we will call it a night at that. That's a good stopping point. Uh, <laughs> I really don't want to kill all you fuckers right now. <laughs> that was a great idea. We're going to go up against the main force by ourselves. No if fucking only, way. If only Peck Peck were here. Uh, Jesse, what'd you think? Fuck. Yeah, it was good. No, uh, that's, a, <laughs> that's a, it's a, it's uh it's great that uh, oh, the town has taken a turn for the militaristic. Uh, I am, I am okay excited. I am not okay with that, but I am uh, interested to see. The, there's got to be. There's something we're missing. Like I just can feel it. Like there's some. Like it, yeah. It's just there's something. Man, there's got to be something missing in this. Because it's it's too it's just been a little it's a little too weird, like what set off the fight like that doesn't I don't know I'm that's what's like I'm chomping at the bit to try and figure out why they're attacking now or some yeah 
It's great. Or, it's it's or really dwarfs good. Dwarfs are from outer space. I mean, come on, a huge fireball through the sky. <laughs> David, what'd you think? I I enjoyed it. I'm uh, just kind of tense about what's going to happen next. <laughs> sure. Uh, Scott, I'm 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 overjoyed. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time coming, Scott. I, it's like it's like I finally finally got a chance to just really just do some things yeah that i wanted to do for a long time so, and they wasn't there to subvert your your, your deeds this time <laughs> no no I, mean, I was really worried when he had that damn spirit totem go up <laughs> i know so, that's why like, that was like, smart you dragged him away <laughs> uh, rob rob what'd you think uh dave pissed off man <laughs> no yeah, i had a yeah, lot yeah, of fun that was great <laughs> Fuck Peck Peck. Peck Peck too slow. Oh my, oh my God. Folks, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit with us about D&D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy our cool shit, uh, check out our shop. If you want to be on the show either Tuesdays uh, Between the Rolls or next Saturday is One Shot, MOBO Inc. Twitter, Gmail, hit us up. We will get you on there. Uh, thank you to Pirate Dog Dice for uh, Kicking the shit out of people and accidentally saving Peck Peck, which was bullshit. Uh, this this game Every smelled like day. victory. Yeah. This, uh, so check out your adventure sense from oddfishgames.com. Their how to RPG with your cat Kickstarter goes live. So check that out. Uh, no Margu game tomorrow. We are taking a break. We will be back on Tuesday for Between the Rolls. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, dating game, kiss and wave. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>